here's an update from my radio astronomy project I've been working on. This is the RF front end for my hydrogen line radio telescope. I've talked about this quite a few posts recently. The most recent addition is the power supply, which I finally have built and attached to the back of the RF feed horns assembly here, which is this guy here. Um, I've got all the wiring on the back side, which then feeds the necessary RF amplifiers and the down converter that I built um, with all the necessary voltages for the entire assembly. Just to revisit this real quick, the actual feed horn is a piece of waveguide that I made out of aluminum uh, to the WR650 specification with a copper quarter wavelength probe inside. Then I have a, that feeds into a low noise amplifier, which is the first stage of the back end here. That feeds into a 1420 megahertz bandpass filter, it's a cavity filter. The output of this then feeds into my down converter, which I've talked, to, talked about in the past. That feeds to a bandpass filter and finally a secondary mini circuits amplifier on the output. Um, this would then feed my test equipment, which I'm using right now, but eventually feed my RF receiving gear for the actual radio telescope. So for testing, I have that output feeding over into my spectrum analyzer. I've got a center frequency right now of 70 megahertz, which is what I've set the IF output to on my down converter um, as far as the output frequency I'm going to be using. Then I've got my RF generator on 1420 megahertz again. And for actual testing, I have the same probe antenna I used last time, just a little quarter wavelength um, vertical dipole, um, about 14 inches in front of the actual feed horn assembly itself. So for testing, what I will do is watching the spectrum analyzer, I'll turn the RF output on, and there is my 70 megahertz spike from the output of the down converter, uh, right at negative 45 dBm approximately. I have a negative 60 dBm output going my little antenna right there, so quite a bit of gain for this device, which is pretty cool. Uh, just to verify the output frequency too, I've got my frequency counter up to 1420 megahertz, roughly. And just to show what it's working, I've done this before. I'll take a piece of copper and actually place it in front of my waveguide, and you can watch the output drop to nothing when I do. I'll remove it and come back. Again, I can cancel everything out by covering the actual input of my feed wire assembly. So that's all. I've got more work to do as far as actually calculating gain and noise and things like this, but I will be posting more soon.